All right, my next problem I wanted you to see because I want you to understand that you can run a regression even if they don't give you a table. I think lots of students look just for them to give you a table to run the regression, and that is not the case. So what I want you guys to understand is if you have at least two points and they give you the equation of the function, you can run a regression. Let's go ahead. We're going to go to Desmos, and I'm going to type in table, and I'm going to go ahead and throw in my table of values. Now, there is an auto regression for uh, exponential, but as you can see, it's a little different than what we need because it's multiplying the constant with the other part of it. And in this case, it's actually addition. So you don't want to run an auto regression on this. You need to type in manually what the equation is. So on the next line, because it's a regression, I'm going to type in y1 tilde, and then I'm going to do a to the x1 power, right? I can't do to the x. Look at what happens if I do to the x. You get an error. See how on the side right here, you get that error message? That's how you know you probably forgot a y1 or an x1. So let me go ahead, throw the one in there. Then we've got it. They wanted to know what is the value of a times b. Well, the parameters give us a is 3 and b is 3. So easy peasy, I just need to do 3 times 3 and I get 9.